In this video, I'm gonna take you through the new Brave features available in version 1.0. And for anyone that's new to Brave, I'll walk you through an overview. I'm Louise Elizabeth and welcome to Every Bit Helps. I really hope you enjoyed this video today and if you do then please give me a like, hit the subscribe button and share if you feel that others may benefit. Also please do head over to my website at www.everybithelps.co.uk where a related blog post is also available. On November 13th of 2019, Brave officially launched version 1.0 of their browser. Before 1.0, Brave was in beta release for four years and during this time have already have 8.7 million monthly active users across the globe. With 1.0, users have access to a full set of unique features, including Brave rewards to fund the open web, Brave ads that compensate users for their attention, and Brave shields for automatic ad and tracker blocking. For anyone that's new to Brave, I'll take you through some of these features later, but for now, let's take a look at what's new. So just heading over to a new tab. So at the moment I can see I've got my Brave Awards appearing on the right hand side here, as well as how Brave is currently performing for me. Now if I go across to my settings, you'll see it mostly appears the same. So we still have our Brave Rewards. And in here you can obviously view your balance, you can manage your ads, auto contribute and tip. You still have your history, bookmarks and downloads but you now have something called Crypto Wallets. And Crypto Wallets is a client-side wallet, meaning that you will control all the keys. So you can now manage your keys in a software wallet in Brave, or alternatively, you can connect a physical hardware wallet such as Ledger or Trezor. And as it says here, you can create a new Brave local wallet to access dApps and store crypto and collectibles securely. Trade tokens anonymously with no trading fees. So what I'm gonna do now is go ahead and start creating this wallet. So I'm going to click on to create and it'll ask me to enter a password and it says here that this password protects your private key. Nobody can reset it if you forget it, not even brave. So make sure you use something very memorable and then click on to create. You'll then be prompted with your secret backup phrase. Now I'm going to skip this for the moment, but do ensure that you actually take a note of this and make sure that you never disclose your backup phrase with anyone. What I'm just going to do, as I said, is I'm going to click on to remind me later. And for those of you who are familiar with MetaMask, you'll find that it has a very similar look and feel and is much the same thing. However, it is built in Brave's browser. As the basic attention token is an Ethereum based token, they've also given the ability to actually store this within the wallet. Plus you can add further Ethereum based tokens or ERC20 tokens into this section here. And if you don't see crypto wallets appearing, it could be that you're not on the latest version of Brave. So what we wanna do is check that. To do this, if you head across to the three horizontal lines in the top right hand corner of the screen, and then if you go down to about Brave, in here it'll show you your current version that you're running at the moment. And if there's an update available, then obviously go ahead and click onto it and you may need to restart your browser afterwards. Now just in terms of updating your systems, if you're an iOS user, you may be interested to hear that Brave Rewards are now live for iOS devices. Brave now reward iOS users with basic attention token for simply watching ads. This feature was not previously available for its iOS users and it means that you can now more easily tip content creators straight from your mobile. To start earning rewards, you'll need to update your app. And when I personally updated mine, I was granted with 20 BAT tokens. To check to see whether or not you've been granted with any BAT tokens in your mobile app, head over to Brave. And then what you wanna do is you wanna click onto the wallet icon, which is that little triangle icon in the top right hand corner. And then from here, you can obviously check your balance. And with these tokens, you can then tip your favorite content providers. And this could be a website or a YouTuber. And more recently, you now have the ability to tip your favorite tweets over on Twitter. And there are so many available Brave publishers to choose from. As you can see here, there's over 340,000 with 230,000 being YouTubers. And if we just take a look at this list here, you'll see that even charities are now accepting BAT tokens as tips. 
Now I've previously created a full tutorial and review of Brave, but what I'll do is I'll take you through a couple of the features now for those of you who are brand new to it. So as I said, if you're new to Brave, I'll take you through an example of how it automatically blocks ads and trackers. The example I'll show you is over on the Daily Mail. So what I'm gonna do first is just open that up on Chrome. Now that's taking a little while to load up. And you can see that there's a video that's auto playing in the bottom right hand corner here. There's adverts appearing on the left and the right and in the center here as well. However, if I now just head over to Brave and open up Daily Mail on there. You can see that it's loading a lot quicker and the reason for that is that the ads have now been removed on the left and the right and the center and there's no longer appearing that video from auto playing. You can see that in total there have been seven items that have been blocked and you can also view other information in relation to trackers that are actually on this site. Now in other browsers you can actually add extensions to actually stop these kind of things from happening. However, this is all built in straight into the Brave browser. Then in terms of watching ads, you can actually get paid to watch them at a time and a frequency that suits you, plus they won't track you across the internet. To manage this, you can go into your Brave Rewards. So if we click onto the three horizontal lines in the top right hand corner, we can then go down to Brave Rewards. And in here you can select whether or not you want ads to be turned on or turned off. And then you have ad settings. So in here you can say how many ads you'd like to be displayed in an hour. So you can obviously customize this in here and you can auto contribute and tip automatically. Now if we just take a look at the home page, you can see on screen that it's showing you exactly how Brave is performing. Now one of the great benefits of Brave is its speeds, which does boast to be three to six times faster than other leading browsers. And that obviously has a lot to do with the fact that those ads are removed like I showed you earlier. Now to download Brave, you need to click on the link that's in the summary below. And when you do, you'll be greeted with this screen. And the button shown below will depend on what kind of operating system you have that Brave will automatically detect. So it won't matter whether or not you're on Windows, Macs, or Linux, it will download the correct version for you. And then all you'll need to do is follow through the installation process once you've clicked on Save. Now, if you're worried about getting to know a new browser, it's got the same look and feel as Chrome with just that added benefit of the privacy features. Plus, you can even import your bookmarks over from Chrome so that you have the same browsing experience no matter which browser you're in. The way that you do that is if we head back over to Chrome, and if we click on the three dots in the top right hand corner, go down to bookmarks, then Bookmark Manager. And if we click on these three dots this time, and go to Export Bookmarks. And what you wanna do is save this bookmarks, and we're gonna be saving it as an HTML file. Then we'll head back over to Brave. We're gonna click on the three horizontal lines in the top right hand corner. Then we're gonna to go to bookmarks and import bookmarks and settings. Now the type of file that we're gonna be importing is an HTML file, because that's what we've just exported. You can choose your file. Open that up and then obviously you can show your bookmarks bar on your toolbar and then click on to done and you can now see it appearing at the top here. So that was my update and overview of Brave 1.0. And I hope you enjoyed this video today. And if you did, then please give me a like, hit the subscribe button, and please do head over to my website at www.everybethelps.co.uk for more tips, reviews, and step-by-step -step guides. Thanks, and I'll see you soon.